Hello, my name is Edgar Villegas. I'm a registered nurse with a degree in medical genetics and I have a master degree in health public. I'm going to talk about my paper title, Histopathological Diagnosis of Cervical Biopsies, Reduction of Sampling Errors with a Third Histologic Level. As we all know, cervical cancer is a public health problem. For the year 2012, 528,000 cases were reported according to Globocan statistics. 85% of these cases belong to developing countries. This cancer is the fourth most common in women and the seventh in general. For the same year, 266,000 deaths were reported, which represents 7.5% in cancer in women, 9 of, of 10 deaths occur in less developed regions, which represent 87%. The main agent for the development of this pathology is HPV, which is inserted into the cervix. This affects the normal cells of the epithelium forming coilocytes. When the first layer of epithelium is affected by pleomorphic cells, it is considered a sin 1. When it is affects the second layers, it is a scene 2. In a third affect layers, it is a scene 3. And when pleomorphic cells break the basal layer and affect the stroma, it is considered an invasive carcinoma. There are effective methods of early detection of precancerous lesions such as cervical cytology, colposcopy, hybrid capture, PCR, and the most accurate diagnosis is the histopathological study. However, certain methodological improvements have been suggested. Previous studies report that making a greater number of cuts at different levels in the paraffin block of the cervix biopsy can increase the sensitivity of the histopathological study. That is why our objective of our research is to determine the variation of the histopathological diagnosis by examining three more levels in the biopsy paraffin block of the different degrees of SIN, HPV, and cervical cancer. It is a quantitative and retrospective study. We start conducting our study in a second level healthcare hospital tacking paraffin blocks from women with a cervical lesion from the year 2014 to years ago. The sample size was 152 paraffin blocks. The sampling was not probabilistic and stratified in the different lesion of the cervix. Three cuts were cut in the paraffin block in addition for the first one previously made by the institution to subsequently process them and see them under a microscope. The cuts were seen by a second pathologist as a gold standard. For a statistical test, it was made to descriptive and inferential statistic, G squared with a 95% CI for the difference in proportions and kappa coefficient with a 95% CI to see intra-observer concordance. One of the main results of our study is that we can see in this graph that from the second cut of the paraffin block, the diagnosis changed to the first cut made by the institution. For example, of the women who were diagnosed with HPV, 46.9% in fact, they were undergoing low grade neoplasia. And for those women who were diagnosed with cancer in situ, 7.1% of them were in invas invasive cancer. All this with a P less than zero. 0.05. The results support the hypothesis that the diagnosis changed when reviewing one more level than they currently perform in the pathology service of health institution. Increased revision of the paraffin blood generates greater diagnosis accuracy. Therefore, it is necessary to continue studying on this subject in order to generate policies to establish a standardized stage to obtain better results of the follow-up and treatment of patients who could have a cervical intrapetalian lesion.